fight or flight to fight or flight freeze fight or flight or better better yet to forgive and forbear forgive and forbear that is the question Got some questions check yep lights camera Can you hear myself Let's get back in. Morning, morning, morning. Another, another day. Actually, I've been up for a couple hours already. I'm awakened this morning, earlier this morning, a couple hours ago. First, I was thought. First, I thought it was my phone alarm going off. Time to get up, but no, it was earlier than that. Well, after five, it was actually a phone call from the alarm service at my mother-in-law's house. Or dispatching an ambulance and something about her alarm going off and her hit her appendix. It's the only words that my wife was uttering. I'm half awake, half asleep. I struggled to get dressed and get on over there only a few minutes away. But we called her before we left the house, our house to go check on her. And she said she had heard something and hit her pendant alarm button is one what I heard. <clears throat> finally got heard the full story instead of fighting or f flighting, fleeing or fighting from the situation <clears throat> she wanted to do, wanted to go back to sleep. No, we embraced it and drove over to drove over to make sure everything was all right. She, she was all right. Yeah, we, yes, we were agitated and thought someone did break in. But after calming down and realizing <clears throat> That she was all right, and realizing what was what was really said and done, not jumping to conclusions. So false alarm, wild goose chase. Everything was okay. The ambulance was there before we arrived, and they checked with her around the house. Instead of jumping to conclusions or fighting over over stuff like this or other afflictions and pains, I should first look upon them first with a penitent heart. You know, I was getting mad, and you know. I just want to go back to sleep. No, I need to get up and check on the situation. Wake up. <laughs> wake up, wake up, wake up. Try not to give off too many bad and ask forgiveness of sins and then grin and bear it. What I should be doing. Try not to give off too many bad looks or vibes or gestures or verbal outbursts. Not to look at these situations as bad, bad ones as wild goose chases when they're they turning wild goose chase into a good one. Look at the situations and such and but look at them as part of my faith walk morning uncle paul morning morning thanks for joining me this morning he's talking about yeah i had to get up earlier go over to my mother-in-law's house we thought something was going on alarm went off but now it was just she thought she heard something so she hit the appended alarm off and it wasn't something to do with her appendix or we thought she had fallen or something or someone broke in but no it was none of that she was just Playing it safe and hit the alarm. She thought she heard something. Ambulance got there. Everything's okay. But I need to look at those situations. Not in a good way, but I mean, not in a bad way, but a good way. To get that mixed up. Well, good chase to look at them as part of my faith walk. Because I remember a mentor of mine, a good mentor and a friend, church friend of mine, his family. They all agree that he has, he has a good habit of saying something and he has a good habit of saying, what what have I done wrong? What sin I've, have I done? I need forgiveness for to be in, in to be in this predicament. Like getting a flat tire. He'd be getting a flat tire and said, oh, forgive me. What have I done wrong to be in this situation? So I look at it like that, like he does. Like a flat tire or supposedly someone falling down and getting hurt. Family falling down and getting hurt. Alarm going off. And I was just. I go to my the big man upstairs. Father, forgive me for I've sinned. I was mad, but now I'm not. I will bear the load and carry on, carry on in sickness and in health, till it's time to be called home. In your name, I pray. Amen. Let's look at that. It's a couple Bible verses that bring to mind this. Psalm 25, 18, and James 5, 14 and 15. Psalm 25, verse 18. Look upon my affliction. 
in my pain. Look upon it, affliction my pain, and forgive all my sins. I'll follow up verse uh, James 5, 14 through 15. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church. Let them pray over him, anointing him with oil. In the name of the Lord, the Lord of faith shall save the sick. And the Lord shall rise, raise him up. And if you have committed sins, they shall be forgiven, forgiven him. So uh, instead of fight and flight, forgive and forbear. My challenge this morning, forgive and forbear, forbear the, the challenges, the false alarms, the wild goose chases. So I'll be welcoming that, look, look to that as growing pains and being true to family, friends, fellowship, friendship. Look upon that and carry the load, and sickness and health, till it's time to be called home. Yes, yes. All day, every day. It's Brent Blabber. 7 a.m. during the week, 8 a.m. on the weekends. Rain or shine. To share a story and a message and a challenge. Sign up for now. I salute you, Sir Five. Simple, Sir Five, never die. Be blab, blue, blab, blue, blab, blue. Thanks for watching, Uncle Paul. Feel free to comment it, like on it, inbox me. If you ever want to get on and get a video conversation going or not, or sit back and enjoy. Enjoy me self deprecating, sharing some good sto stories, but growing and being a better Christian soldier for the big man upstairs. Talk to y'all later.